Hey everyone, this is Mike Boggs, Striker System Sales Manager. In this feature video, I'd like to take a quick look at our newest interface into 3D modeling systems, batch processing of 3D model files from within the Striker System's work environment. So here's how it works. I'll begin by launching the Part Share interface. And here we see the Part Libraries tab, the Assemblies tab, and also there's a tab for Import Queue. Now many of you may not have used the import queue, but it is designed to allow you to import files and historically that's been DXF and DWG files. But we have recently added the ability to import solid model files as well. So to do this I'm going to select new and I'm going to select in this case a series of Autodesk Inventor IPT files. Now at this point it just opens these files in the queue. I have the option of bringing these in one at a time or I could batch import them. If I bring them in one at a time I can simply select the part or parts that I'd like and do an import and that's going to retrieve an import dialog that's populated with all of the information about that part. Now this is being pulled directly from the properties on the inventor model file. This gives me the option to change any of that information. For example, if I want to add a specific library name that I want it to go into. And also there's a second tab where I can control what geometry is coming in based on layer, color, line type, etc. So when I OK this, that part is now added into the part library. To batch import, I simply select the file or files that I want, right click, and say import using the inventor map style. All of my parts have now been added to my part library with information that's pulled from the I properties on the inventor models. All of these parts are now available for individual or nest processing on your CNC punching or cutting machine. In this case we'll go into the nest wizard interface, create a sample nest kit, and I'll select for demonstration purposes all of these parts that we brought in from Inventor with a quantity of 10 and calculate a nest. So here we went from solid models to nested sheet layouts within just a minute or two. So in the past many of you may have used Stryker's part share add-in available for SolidWorks, Autodesk Inventor, or Solid Edge. Or you may have used our OLE interface into these same products. But depending on your workflow, our new batch import feature may provide you with the tools to better process solid models. If you would like additional information, please don't hesitate to contact us.